Michael, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Excited to be on TikTok? I am. My daughter will be even more excited <laughs> because she's an avid TikToker. Okay, so we're going to just run through some quick fire questions. Okay, and one word answers are fine, long answers are fine, whatever, whatever you want. First off, one word to describe Ben Stokes. Legend or fury after, after his favourite film character, Brad Pitt. From the Does Stuart Broad say things to wind up Australians deliberately? Yes. Um, he's a world-class bowler and a world-class winder-upper of Aussies. Um, he knows exactly what he's doing and he's been doing plenty of it ahead of this series. Nice. Is there anything you've ever dabbled in at all, winding up Australians? Uh, the trouble was when I played, between 1989 and 2001, we got beat every Ashes series, so it'd come back and bite you. What's the greatest Ashes moment in your mind? Uh, two at Headingley, Beefy's Ashes in 81, or I should say Bob's Ashes in 81 at Headingley when he bowled Australia out after following on, and then the stokes Leach partnership at Headingley to win that famous game in 2019. Were you at both? I was, I was working on the second one and I actually went to one day of the 1981 test. It was the only day of test cricket I went to before I played. Nice. Inspirational then? Absolutely. Any 13 year old boy would remember that summer. One word to describe Steve Smith. Badger. Cricketing badger. He's, he's somebody who is always messing with his gloves and his bats and he's you know, you see him in his hotel room, shadow batting in front of the mirror. So, a real cricketing badger. Uh, one Australian that you'd have in the current England team? Well, I'm going to go for Marnus Labashane because he makes a good cup of coffee so he can be our 12th man. How do you know he makes a good cup of coffee? He's, he loves his coffee. He's got this, he's like a barista or something, and he's the man that they all go to. His hotel room is the one they all go to for good coffee. So he's not getting in my team, but he's, he can make the coffee. Vegemite or Marmite? Which is the English one? Marmite. <laughs> Marmite. <laughs> Having never tried either of them. No, I, 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 I hate both. <laughs> what do you have on your toast then? Um, butter, jam, anything but Marmite. Big question this. Would Michael Atherton suit a bucket hat? I've asked for a bucket hat because I, I love my fishing on the riverbank and a bucket hat is perfect for fishing. Nice, so I can see it now with the hooks in there, all the fellas. <laughs> Fly fishing? Absolutely. Which England great has won the most ashes? Okay, and then all you guys played well, in the 90s. <laughs> I, can tell you, I can tell you he's won the least <laughs> and that would be me, NASA, anybody who yeah. played in the 90s, but beefy in the 80s had a fantastic yeah, record. Because so, when we were prepping for this, so it's obviously we're, um, we're, we're like of an age where we watched a lot of cricket in the like, late 90s, early noughties. Yeah, yeah. And it's great to meet you guys because you know, we watched you growing <laughs> up. We were like, we was, we, Not very good we, in we the didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, uh, best sledge, if you got one. Oh, best sledge. Um, oh God, best sledge. I can't think of one. You'll have to move on. Okay, all right. So, are Australian women's cricket team the best sports team that there's ever been? Well, there's good competition. There have been some fantastic teams down the years, but in terms of their record in cricket, they're hard to look past. What a fantastic team they are. Any other sports teams that come to mind? Well, I'm a Man United fan, so I think about that great treble winning side. Um, you've got the Australian cricket team themselves, the men's team of the of the 90s. Um, my favourite team of all time is the West Indies uh, in the 1980s. Uh, they were such a brilliant side, full of great players, great athletes, and played a very stylish and brilliant game. So if I was choosing one team for myself, it would be the West Indies of the 1980s. Nice one. Just the last one to finish off, Ashes prediction. Ashes prediction, 3-2 England. Perfect. Thank you so much.